What's up guys? Morning time here. About to get the show kicked off in San Francisco, Berkeley. Uh, this is Spocom and looks like there's a lot of nice cars here. Looks like the Bay Area knows how to build them up. So we're going to walk around and check out some of our favorites. We'll bring you guys along. All right, so this vlog is going to be a little bit different than anything I think we've ever done before. Actually, both Mickey and I are going to be vlogging today. We're going to be walking around showing you guys some of our favorite cars. What I want you guys to do is drop some lines in the comment section below. Let us know which one is your favorite and why um, we don't want to see any hate in there so just just show us the ones you really like and hope you guys enjoy all right first one on the list is a full carbon r35 GTR some nice tees but holy crap every square inch of this car is carbon fiber what do you think Mick not your style? Interesting. Not my style because I know that this is actually just an overlay. Mm -hmm. um, but still cool. Yeah, you got to appreciate all the work that goes into doing it 100% carbon. What would have really sold it for me is if the weaves actually lined up between the fender and the... Oh, I didn't even notice that. Yes, yeah, so Everything's just kind of thrown together. kind of see that. Still, I mean, don't get me wrong. Amazing work. Um, yeah. Just when you're gonna do something like this, for me, it's the little things of making all that. Mass. Do you think that the entire thing was overlaid by the same people, or like they had a carbon fiber door option and they, that's, that's, that's what probably it what it was? Should have had this on the car when it would be overlaid. Pretty cool. First thing I look at. Shout out, dude. So, how do you guys feel about the R33 GTR now? I'm not exactly sure how this one is here yet, because technically they are not legal in the US yet. But this one says for sale. Oh, it's got different wheels on each side, too. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. You gotta see the amount of people that came out to meet us. This is flattering and amazing, humbling all at the same time. Look at this. Up to the vlog, boys. Yeah. A little line surfing here. Good. What's up, man? What's up? Can you freaking believe this? Look at this line. San Francisco showed the fuck up. Hey. What's up to the vlog, boys? Hey. To say we are humbled by the support we're getting out here is absolutely an understatement. Pretty sure it's time for me to take you guys around and pick out a car or two that I think is cool. Man, the fanfare here is amazing. What's up? So, I walked down this way for a reason because there's a couple things I want to show you guys. You guys know I like Hondas. I know, you're like, oh, it's ricey or whatever, but it's not. This car is actually raced. What's up, dog? This car is actually raced. Aki sump in the rear oiling system, full setup, wins a lot of events apparently, which is pretty sick. You guys are probably like, big wing on a front wheel drive car, what's that about? Do your homework, boys. It does actually serve a purpose. This one here is another one of my favorites of the show. If you guys don't know, that's an 86 Corolla on the back. One of my favorites of all time. And a custom hauler to haul it around. Pretty freaking sick if you ask me. I'm gonna cruise through over here. We've got a couple other cars I wanna show you guys that are a couple of my favorites from the show. Take you over to them. Oh my God, this guy has a waterfall in his trunk. Oh, my God. 
Yep, that's real water. It's pretty wet in there. Can we just appreciate this clean FDR X7? favorites obviously you guys know I love FDs this is not your favorite is it? No, oh, really? Miguel? This is my, my boy Miguel just met him right now he's obviously an RX-7 fan as well what do you like about this? <laughs> just sick right? Beat the body lines of an FD I like this little spoiler I think that's gonna end up finding its way onto my RX-7 as well I think I'll leave it carbon what's up man? good man um, so this one here is like fairly stock on the outside. There's no extra wide bodies or anything like that. I'm into that. These cars need to be preserved and not cut up. Don't cut up your RX-7. It's a bad idea. Things I like about this car is the wide body kit. I love that it's white. You know how I love my white cars. The work wheels are sick. Clear tails. If you guys were around in the car scene in the early 2000s, and you definitely know about these. Pretty good little build. Not sure if it actually runs or not, but looks good to me. Love the wide body. Not a lot of people have done these in the States. Um, it's tough to pull that look off. But it's a good job. All right, I found it. Check this thing out. You know I love Corollas. This is a really old one and what's cool about these old Corollas, they fly under the radar for California Air Resource Board and emissions because they're 69. 75 and newer, you actually are able to not have to do smog and emissions. So this car for me is like kind of the holy grail because it's a vintage car. There's not a bunch of them out there so if you have this, you have something very unique. It looks sick on old school small wheels. These here are 13s I think. Let's see what the size. These are actually 13s. 175 50 13. Finding 13 inch tires these days, especially in a performance type model tire, is nearly impossible. So this guy's running some Nan Kangs, some off-brand tire, but thank you Nan Kang for actually supporting the uh, old school car community because it's not easy finding tires for these things. This interior is crispy as Look at that, so nice. I don't know who the owner of this car is, but he crushed it on this build. Everything is um, has been redone. This, of all cars to this show, is Mickey Spec. This one gets my seal of approval out of all the cars here. And uh, yeah, super pumped to have stumbled across it. So good job to whoever built this, love it. But I wanted to show you one car in particular that might be some major inspiration, major changes for the E46 M3. Let me show you. And you, and you, deserve, and you did it right from the start. That is pretty much a wrap. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, remember to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you guys in the next one.
Sin su amor 